Did you know that the Flash travels at the speed of light and sometimes above? It sure is cool watching Flash strut around Earth in the blink of an eye like it's nothing. Well, moving at the speed of light is trickier than how Barry Allen makes it seem. Is it possible to travel at the speed of light? And more importantly, should you travel at the speed of light? You are sure in the right place, so sit tight as we show you the dark side of traveling at the speed of light fancified by DC. Leaving the fictional world of DC behind and facing reality, humans are yet to achieve traveling at the speed of light. Of course, we've made efforts to exceed the speed of sound, but light just seems to be an undefeatable opponent. However, if we could even defeat the speed of light, or perhaps attain the speed of light, it might not be so advisable. Why so? It's quite understandable that humans were able to exceed the speed of light. Sound travels at a mere 343 meters per second, while its ultimate supreme lord travels at 299,792,458 meters per second. Take a look at that. That's some 800,000 times faster. Even the fastest spacecraft travels at 692,000 kilometers per hour, roughly 192,222 meters per second, meaning it would take less than two minutes to go from the USA to Australia. Sure, that speed is awesome, but it pales in comparison to light. Light would achieve that same distance in way less than a second. The speed of light is so extreme that you'd comfortably go around the Earth more than seven times in one second. What's a mere 9,000 mile trip between Australia and the US compared to that? Albert Einstein's most popular equation, E equals MC squared, the equation of energy, pretty much explains why it would be impossible to attain the speed of light. According to special relativity, as a craft approaches the speed of light, the mass becomes infinite, and to move that mass, the craft will require an infinite amount of energy, implying that it is impossible for matter with weight to reach the speed of light. So, how does the light travel at such phenomenal speed then? Well, light is composed of particles, known as photons. And for these particles to travel at extraordinary speed, they should require an infinite amount of energy. However, because these photons do not have weight, they can travel at that fast speed. We'll be partially letting go of physics laws at this point and totally disregarding the universal speed limit. What if a spacecraft could move at the speed of light? What would happen? As a spacecraft accelerates towards the speed of light, time goes slower down to the point where time would eventually stop. To illustrate, we move in time as we perform daily activities, but our movements in time for each person differs based on every individual's movement in space. The higher the speed of our movement in space, the lesser our movements in time. So moving at speeds close to the speed of light in a spacecraft will slow down our movement in time, and gradually, as we edge towards the speed of light, it will get to a point where time stops and a time machine is created. Events would be disoriented. In essence, as we travel at the speed of light, we would be traveling into the future. So let's get back to the spacecraft. As the spacecraft edges towards the speed of light, you might not notice the difference in time, but from an earthbound perspective, time would slowly stop till it seems like everything is frozen, causing what's known as time dilation to happen. Basically, time is relative, and it passes at different rates for different people. The popular twin paradox perfectly embodies this. If one of the twin siblings takes a spacecraft at light speed to a distant location in the galaxy, the earthbound time for this twin will basically stop and from their perspective, the clock on Earth will slowly stop moving till it finally stops. However, the clock on the spacecraft would still move at the normal rate, but only wouldn't calculate time precisely from the perspective of the other twin bound on Earth. Mere minutes on the clock of the spaceship could be equivalent to a decade or more, and upon their return back to Earth, the twin siblings wouldn't be of the same age anymore. The earthbound twin could be a grandpa, while the other twin would look more or less the same. Taking the paradox a step further, what if the twin in space did not only move at the speed of light, but moved faster than light? At this point, time wouldn't just stop, 
but time would move backwards. Aging would stop for the twin in the spacecraft, and events would occur backwards, invalidating the causality theory. In the normal flow of time, the causality theory emphasizes that causes of events will always precede their effects. For instance, a ball would only fly in space after it has been kicked. The ball wouldn't fly mid-air without being kicked. However, from the perspective of the twin in space, the ball would fly before it gets kicked, implying that the effect would precede the cause. And of course, the twin's perspective of light would change, moving back to light's much slower twin, sound. You'll notice that as an ambulance moves towards you, the sound is very high pitched, but as it moves further away, the sound reduces, even though it is still producing the same sound. This is where the Doppler effect takes control. As the sound waves are emitted from the ambulance, they compress as they head towards you, the stationary observer. But as the ambulance moves away, the sound waves stretch and are further apart relative to you. Hence, the same sound is perceived differently. A similar principle occurs with light. Although it's not something you would be able to notice in your everyday routine, as fast airplanes move, they still travel at a very tiny fraction relative to the speed of light. But in our enabled spacecraft, the twins' perception of light would largely change. Okay, let's say the spacecraft is approaching a stationary object in space reflecting red light at let's just say 20% the fraction of light. The stationary red light would not appear red, but yellow. Not because the light changed, or because the twins' eyes are defective, but because the relativistic Doppler effect changes the appearance of the light. If the twin were to peek back at the stationary red light after moving past it, the light wouldn't even appear red or yellow, or any color visible to the human eye, as a matter of fact. Rather, no light would be seen because the human eyes cannot detect infrared light. However, in space, stars are constantly moving. So, how would light be perceived? The light as perceived from the front window would appear blue. As the invisible infrared lights move down the spectrum to the visible spectrum, while through the back window, the light would appear red as the ultraviolet invisible end travels to the visible spectrum. So in essence, stars would be perceived differently at light speed. Slow aging, beautiful color perception, light speed space exploration, non-conventional time travel, these aspects really do make light speed traveling fascinating. But what is the dark side? A spacecraft moving at the speed of light would be very vulnerable and any slight impact it makes with a tiny particle could easily cause an explosion. Let's try to get a little bit real here. Space is filled with stars, planets, satellites, and of course, a lot of debris. So navigating through space at such high speed without colliding with anything is near impossible unless humans do devise a way to protect the ship, which is synonymous with embellishing an air castle. A successful light speed space trip would even feel empty. If there's something we've learned from those beings who live longer in movies, they often tend to be empty or depressed. Even Captain America chose to end his life rather than be a superhero. What's the point of traveling through space at the speed of light when the people you'd have to report back to might even be dead upon your return? Time with family would be lost, friends would be gone, and important milestones missed. In the end, missed events would be regretted and your present wouldn't be the same anymore. Mainly because the universe has a speed limit like roads, it would be impossible to travel at light speed. An infinite amount of energy would be needed to move the infinite amount of mass, which is very impossible. However, even if humans were able to create a spacecraft that breaks physics laws, events would be distorted, the craft would be placed in danger, and of course, laws and principles would have to be rewritten, making you wonder if any constant even truly exists.